Ever wonder where the seafood you eat comes from? A local nonprofit group is now letting people see where in the Gulf of Mexico exactly the fish they buy is caught, as well as when. Now at 6, our Andrew Dowd shows you how this kind of tracking helps local fishermen. You know, I'm a firm believer in the, in the quality of my product. And Bob Carter depends on that quality to make money. He's fished the Gulf of Mexico for more than 30 years. But in 2010, questions of quality following the BP oil spill threatened his livelihood. They closed down our fishing grounds. And, you know, I can't sit around. The wolf's always at the door. He fished off the coast of Texas to stay afloat. Now he's again based in Florida, and business is booming. We got about between 13 and 14,000 pounds of mixed up black grouper, red snapper, red grouper, and scamp. Snapper's coming up. Fish are taken from the boat, separated, weighed, 53.3, boxed, iced, and ready to ship. But they're also tagged. Once the fish is caught, it can be tracked from the boat to the dinner table with a type of seafood social security number. It's a fully traceable system that gives everybody the potential to see everybody who touched their fish through the process. Jason Dela Cruz dreamed up the system as part of Gulf Wild. Each Gulf Wild fish that comes off the boat is given a number that you can look up online, allowing you to know where, when, and who caught the fish. It's going to make the captains more aware with these tags that if they are not properly taking care of their fish, it can be tracked right back to them. Dela Cruz says his idea was fast-tracked when consumer confidence dropped following the oil spill. What he and other fishermen have found is that people are willing to pay a premium for traceable domestic seafood. In Madeira Beach, Andrew Dowd, ABC Action News. Now to check out how to track the freshness of your fish, head to our website. We've included a link under Andrew's story on abcactionnews.com.